Yeah, I know. It's the next day now. The camera was empty, it was late, I was tired. So I had to sleep. <laughs> Another snooze, eh? right? <laughs> okay, we are back now. So um, let me show you something. Welcome back to another video here from the Off-Grid Garage. Today with another battery test. We keep testing the Palo Palo lithium iron phosphate batteries here, which disappointed in the first test when we did the capacity test. 5,500 milliampere hours out of 7,200. All right, next test would be, well, for the next test, I need two of the cells empty and two of the other ones full. But I don't want to just discharge two of them because as per the specifications of these cells, we can discharge them with 5C continuously. And this is what we are going to test now before we do the other test, the next test. So I grab cell number two and cell number four, number two and number four, and we will connect them here to the Chinese cracker and discharge them with 5C, which is 35 amps as per the specifications. So they should be completely empty within an hour. I'm, I'm keen to see the curve for this and see how much they actually heat up during this test. Okay, let's get started. All right, I have now connected the battery. Uh, it's a bit uh, difficult with these thin fins here. To, um, to connect them to the big crocodile clamps here of the uh, Chinese cracker here. But it's all good now. Cell number two is on... Cell number two is on 3.341 volts. They all were charged to 3.65. And now because they're rested, voltage goes down to 3.35. Okay, I have set the parameters to 35 amps. We are discharging to 2.5 and Let's get started. Ah, before we do this, actually, I wanted to test the battery temperature. 14 degrees, 13.7, which is in, which is 56.8 in Fahrenheit. All right, let's fire it up. Oh, the voltage drops to 2.6 straight away. <laughs> Have you seen that? Look at the voltage curve on. It goes to 2.6 volts right away at 35 amps. Yeah, I'm not sure if these contacts actually are made for 35 amps here. Let's see if there's any heat. <laughs> We're already at 2.5. <laughs> okay, I'm just having a look at the temperatures here at the terminals. 16.6, now that's all good. Cell itself has already warmed up to 20 amps. <laughs> Saying 20 amps. Oh, really? Really, you can feel it. This one is cold. Here, see, 14 degrees. And this one is on 25 already. How can it sustain this for one hour? That is insane. And look at this crazy voltage curve. The voltage goes up again. Is the current dropping now? Current is still 35 amps. Holy moly. And the temperature. 27, 28. What is going on here? I hope I don't create a fire here. I should put them on the concrete floor, hey? Andy's sniffle test. Yeah, you can, you can smell the, the heat. Woo! 32 already. Holy crap. And look at the voltage curve. While the battery is heating up, the voltage is increasing again. We are still discharging with 100 watts, 35 amps. What is going on here? That is insane. Well, if I cannot touch this at one stage anymore, I cancel the test here. Okay, we are at almost 40 degrees, which is 
102 Fahrenheit after three minutes holy crap that we have 41 I'm not sure if this is good I don't think this is good I don't like this it's nice and warm just to confirm again 14 degrees here from the desk yeah 14 degrees on the workbench and this one has 5 46 look at the temperature 46.5 0 0.8 47 holy crap yeah I'm, I'm not going to um, I think this is not good that is not good this is this is almost like a short huh and I think it's it's humming I can feel a bit of vibration here of the high current going through man we have discharged already 2.8 ampere hours this is half empty holy crap it gets nice and warm now almost 50 which is 122 in Fahrenheit what is going on here ah now the voltage is dropping we are 3 ampere hours discharged can they really do it? I'm not sure if this is a good idea but the voltage is holding 2.76 and now we are coming to a point where it's almost too hot to touch 51 117 55 it's 130 Fahrenheit <laughs> 3.4 ampere hours you can you can really you always have to do this little test when you test batteries that is a lot of current 3.7 ampere hours can it do it you can still touch it 57 58 degrees 137 that's not good that cannot be healthy for the cell i think they are bullshitting 60 degrees it measures 61 degrees we're on 65 degrees 66 151 fahrenheit and look at this curve look at this curve isn't that ridiculous 4.6 ampere hours discharged now and we are still at 2.65 volts but um, that's like 50, 66 degrees 67 uh, now it gets really to a point 2.55 we are close we are close do we get 5 ampere hours there we go 5 ampere hours and stop <laughs> that is crazy look at this curve have you ever seen such a discharge curve for lithium iron phosphate that is insane <laughs> what am i doing here that is crazy it's 160 Fahrenheit 71 degrees yeah. <laughs> holy crap holy crap really <laughs> I've never seen such a curve why is the voltage going up at the beginning this can only mean it. <laughs> okay okay let me save this information here really I need to save this for the <laughs> for the world <laughs> Wow, that is insane. And look how the voltage bounces back 3.1 again. Save data. Here, new folder. Discharge. 5 ampere hours. Okay, guys, I'm keen. I'm keen to test number 4 now as well. Same parameters. Holy schmackamoly. That is nice and warm here. All right, let's, <laughs> let's just disconnect this beast. Whew. 5 ampere hours there's only 10% less than discharging slower with 1.4 amps right so not much difference there <laughs> oh no it's all right you can you can touch it it is hot but okay, let me see if I can mount these um, in a different way here does it make sense no I don't think 
Would this make a difference here? What do you reckon? Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. <laughs> All right. All right, next test number four. 17 degrees it has. It must have warmed up from the pure proximity here on the workbench from the other cell here. <laughs> let's um, let's <laughs> let's be crazy and start another test. Start. All right, 35 amps. Here we go. And voltage is collapsing. 2.6 volts only. Will it bounce back again? Yeah, it's flattening out. And voltage is, is it bouncing back? Stabilizing and it's going up again. Yeah, it goes, it goes up. It does the same. It's insane. Let's measure the temperature. 17 degrees was the starting point. Ooh, already 30, uh, 23. Voltage is rising. 92 watts we're getting out of this cell. Is there any change here in temperature? Oh, they, they seem to be, they seem to be a lot hotter here. I don't think the contact is very good when we connect them flat. Guys, I would not recommend discharging them with 35 amps. This is... Oh yeah, let's measure the temperature here. Let's see how far we come. Oh, have I seen 38? Yeah, yeah, 38, 39, 40, 41, 40 degrees already. That's insane. Yeah, the cell itself at 35. But the, um, the contacts seem to be hotter now. What are we, one point, oh wow, this is really hot here. I cannot touch this anymore. I know, I need an infrared camera. I, I get, I'll get one for you. Don't, <sighs> No, the voltage does not rise when I push them together here. But the whole copper, the whole clamp is hot. And it wasn't like this before, so... I think this is just bad contact here on the flat side of this fin. Okay, we have to leave it as it is now. I don't want to do this test again. Uh, this is pure torture. This is insane. Why do they advertise such specifications, you know? Because idiots like me buy them then and think, wow, that's a 5C cell. It must be a good one. Five minutes. That is... Uh, I should put this in an empty beer can and seal it again and sell it. This hot, hot metal is like this oily, you know? <laughs> you know, you know what I mean, right? Okay, voltage is finally going down now at 3.4 ampere hours. Five, six minutes in the test. What am I doing here for you? That's a six dollar cell. Absolutely. I should wear these glasses when we do these tests. This hottie could explode here. 70, 70 degrees, 150, 160. That is insane. 161 degrees Fahrenheit we have. 4.7, we are close. That's the end. No, you touch no. You cannot touch the terminals anymore. It is so hot. It is insane. There you go. Test done. Oh, 4.97 only. Well, that's disappointing, right? Okay, I think we have prepared our next test environment. We've got two cells still full, and the even ones are now empty and hot. <laughs> what are we doing? It is not normal, really. <laughs> what shitty tests I come up with here, really. But it's the specs. They give you the specs, you know? So, oh, it is... <laughs> this one is really hot. This one is fucking hot here. It's 160 almost. 160 degrees. <laughs> It's a 71 degrees Celsius. <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> that is stupid, really. <laughs> well, guys, anyway, thank you so much for watching here. <laughs> Thanks for all your support here on the channel. I will save these curves as well on my website just for the, for the world to download. <laughs>
<laughs> Palo, Palo lithium iron phosphate. This thing, this is so fucking hot, really. <laughs> Palo lithium iron phosphate battery, 7,200 milliampere hours, 35 amp discharge test. Takes only eight minutes. <laughs> As always, guys, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs> this is so. You still? Wow, this one is a lot hotter than the other one, really. Jeez. That's not good.